Good morning, everyone. Wayne Bolden. It is Thursday uh, afternoon. It is the 18th of April. We're about two and a half weeks out from the Derby, of course. And as always, your closed captions, turn them on. And of course, tip sheets. A lot of orders coming in. Please get your orders in now, pre-orders, so I can focus on uh, the races, okay, and get that out of the, the way. Uh, oak sheets are twenty dollars full card is 13 races derby day is 14 races is 20 bucks okay so together it's 40 bucks a great way to support us you know the work that we put in I can use your support uh, all the money goes back into the studio needless to say for sure email us at speedking24 at yahoo.com and or text us 732-804-0637 732-804 0637. Uh, we have five payment methods. We'll work it out. Just email me. Let me know you want them and we can work it out from there for sure. And uh, well, um, thank, uh, again, thanks everyone for the, the, the Judge Speed King video. We had a bunch of fun doing that. You know how I am. I love having fun. There's nothing wrong with having fun unless you're not getting none, right? Uh, on the Bob Baffert and the Muth uh, situation there. So, very, very fun video for me to do that day. But I figured we probably should do some races this weekend. I've been dialed into the Derby the last week or so, and it's going to only get worse for sure. Um, but the Oaklawn uh, Handicap is on Saturday uh, at Oaklawn Park. Uh, it's a, it's a, a mile and an eighth, <coughs> a field of 11. 1.2 million and you know some of the actors but I have a problem in this race okay and the problem in my in this race that I have is one of my stable horses is running uh, last samurai no here he goes with that last samurai horse <laughs> yeah you know we're not supposed to fall in love with horses but this horse has been in my stable the last three years or so made a ton of money on him but he's not the same horse he's just not um, he's the number eight horse in uh, the Oakland Handicap, the 11th race on Saturday. And, uh, of course, uh, Last Samurai has six wins from 29 starts, five seconds, four thirds, 0 for 1 this year. So, something happened to this horse. Uh, back there in the Whitney Stake, the grade one Whitney at Saratoga on August 5th of last year. Okay, the horse was eased. And he was unsighted the rest of the year. Did not return until March 30th of this year. So the horse was away for seven months because of that ease. So something physically happened to their horse. Ran dead last in the Whitney and last October, uh, uh, August, by uh, ran six. And when he returned at Oakland Park on March 30th, making his six-year-old debut uh, in the Oakland Mall Stakes, Ran horribly again, ran six, uh, dead last. Um, I'm kind of thinking he might have needed that race, but a lot of things have transpired with the last samurai. Uh, after the Whitney, he was used to be trained by uh, D. Wayne Lucas, and now he's with a trainer, Eddie uh, Mulligan uh, Jr., and we have Richard Imara, Imara in the yarn. So again, you know, uh, out of Lucas Barn into a trainer that is not well known or I don't know him anyway um, and the first time he ran the horse in the Oakland Mall in March uh, didn't do real well so I'm gonna get off his bandwagon but I'm gonna give him one more shot okay uh, again this is a stable horse of mine uh, a horse that I always love to play so I'm gonna go ahead and use him that's who I'm gonna use on top now, he's going to have to really turn the tables to beat this field. If he ever runs back to any of his races like he ran in the Stephen Foster last year in July or in the Oakland Handicap last year where he finished second, then he'll be tough. But all indications that this is not the same horse or the same last samurai that I once knew. Okay, owes me no money, so I'm going to give him one more shot. Okay, and he should be really, really big odds. But again... He's clearly not the horse to beat in here. I'm going to give you as if I was handicapping it regularly and not being a homer. Okay. 
but I'm going to use the number eight horse last samurai and give him one more swing. A again, this is a uh, you know a love a love thing that I have with last samurai. That being said, the horse in here to clearly beat <coughs> is the number four horse, uh, Octane. Uh, Octane is a very very fast horse. Has eight wins from eighteen starts, four seconds and one third. One win this year from two starts and one second. Last one, the Razorback Handicap right across this racetrack some uh, two months ago. So we know he's recovered from that effort. Uh, beautiful speed figures, beautiful pace numbers. In the Sunshine Classic at Gulfstream Park, what a beautiful race. He ran second that day. To me, the number four horse really is the top pick in here. Okay, he is the best horse in the race. Looks like he should be sitting on go-go. He's being trained by Juan Alvarado. And uh, the, uh, the original anchor is in the yard, Julian Leperu. Right, the original anchor. I just like to have a little fun with, with, with Julian. He's a good rider. Um, but Octane, the number four horse, is clearly the horse to beat in here. And uh, will, will be very, very tough for sure returning after a two-month layoff off of a win. Very, very strong. The number four, Octane. And equally as strong to me uh, in the same vein as Octane is Reincarnate. Is that man, mama, is Bob Baffert. Right? Bob Baffert have Reincarnate by way of California, of course. Hey, Juan Hernandez is making a trip, it looks like, to ride this one. This one is by Good Magic. It is a four-year-old, so there's a lot of upside. Twelve starts, three of them are wins, three of them are seconds, and three of them are thirds. Nine times in the money from twelve starts. Made her four-year-old or his four-year-old debut off of a uh, four-month layoff in the Santa Anita Handicap. Ran third that day. Probably could have used that race as the second one off the layoff. He, this horse is a four-year-old. This horse should be extremely tough as well. Even though I don't like horses shipped out of California, they don't seem like they ship very well or run very well coming out of California. But that being said, uh, reincarnate the number six horse just like the number four horse um, Octane should be extremely tough. Those are the two horses, if you ask me, <coughs> that clearly, clearly are the horses to beat in here. So again, uh, the four six are the two obvious horses to beat. And thirdly, um, I don't know, what would I do uh, without Red Route 1, right? Red Route 1, we'll keep, we can actually see him turning for home, making up ground down the lane, right? The son of Gunrunner, of course, uh, is a four-year-old as well, has four wins from 18 starts, four seconds and two-thirds, looks a whole lot like reincarnation, reincarnate from a, um, a, a, um, a record standpoint, trained by my guy Steve Asmussen, Joel Rosario, Mr. Rolex, that's right. He'll be on time with this one. He'll be coming down the lane. That is the other horse in here that deserves a very strong look for sure. Right behind Octane and Reincarnate. Hey, Red Route 1 can flat out run. So there it is, folks. Those are the three horses that are clearly, clearly the horses to beat from a pure handy stapping capping standpoint the number four octane the number six red uh, uh reincarnate and the number five horse of course red route one we're going to take last samurai the number eight horse and try to run him uh in the first second and third spot with these horses and try to uh, hit a trifecta or a little exacta not going to put a bunch of money in here of course and uh, uh because again he's a stable horse of mine now here's the other x factor in this race a community favorite is in this race, okay? The old Skippy horse. No, you didn't. Yeah, the old Skippy. Uh, Long Stocking is in this race, the number 10 horse. I don't have to tell you his work. He's been a fan favorite here at the stadium at the stadium, at the studio for a long time. Seven wins from 22 stars, two seconds, four thirds. Just such a hard-hitting uh, five-year-old trained by Safi Joseph, of course. You can use him underneath as well, the number 10 horse. So what I'll do is I'll take my number eight horse. Again, you don't have to follow me on this. Uh, Last Samurai, I'm wishing and hoping because Last Samurai do love Oakland Park. And if he ever gets back to who he was, he'll be hell on wheels. But it doesn't look like he's the same horse. 
I'm going to give him one more chance. So we're going to use the number four horse, Last Samurai, as a love thing for sure, over the four, six, five, and ten, like that, okay? And maybe we'll just go ahead and run them up and down for sure. All right, so clearly four, six, five are clearly the horses to beat in here, and one of them are truly, truly the likely winners in this race. The Speed King is going off of the, the, the reservation here and, and going out on a limb with his number eight horse, Last Samurai. There it is, the Oakland uh, Handicap 11th race on Saturday at beautiful Oakland Park. It's in Hot Springs. You got it. Stay classy, y'all, in all that you do. That's a long about way saying the Speed King is out on a limb again. You got that right. Let's go, Last Samurai.